What is going on guys? Welcome to Just Another Car Channel. My name is Isaiah Aspina and uh, it is a Tuesday and it's kind of rainy but since this is my day off I figured that I would go and uh, check on uh, places that do welds on the exhaust and see how much they would charge me and if it's not too much god damn <laughs> and uh and if it's not too much then uh, i'll do it today but because yeah i'm kind of broke i just paid rent so motherfucker, dude me? what are you doing uh anyway so i'm just gonna go check on the see how much they are and then hopefully we find a super cheap place that we can do it today that way i can put my diffuser on which is what i really want and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Wait. <clears throat> Alright guys, we're here on the first spot. We'll see how much they charge us just to switch out the tips. Alright guys, so far no luck. Um, I went to another shop and they told me 80. So I was like, man, enough of this. So I'm leaving my area. I'm going to go to downtown. And uh, I already called the place and they're like, yeah, we'll do it for $30. So I mean, I don't understand why it's so hard to literally just cut him off and switch sides but whatever so we're gonna go over there and then hopefully they don't flake on us and give us a different plot uh, different price but yeah we'll see how it goes all right guys so i found a spot and they said they're gonna do it for i think 40 bucks so that's like half of what people were charging me down in fucking west hollywood where i live so downtown la coming through i'm a girl and hopefully the welds look a little better too because the ones that came on that on that one look kind of weird and uh yeah. there he goes there he goes oh my god hey shit was so scary Oh, tips are off. Man, they're already dirty. Anyway, see how like the long side, now it's gonna go on the inside instead of the other way around. So hopefully that'll make it look better. And uh, hopefully they get welded more straight than they were before. So, gang gang. Have any of you ever heard a Prius make that noise before? <laughs> that just sounds louder than my car right now. <laughs> And it's all set. Sick. Gang, 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 gang. All right, guys. This is the second day. Uh, yesterday, I didn't have time to finish to put it on because, uh, well, I had time, but. It was really rainy and it was kind of dark, so I figured that it would be too dark to put it on here. So, we're gonna finish it today. Should be uh, really easy, so let's do it. All right guys, what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm cutting off the zip ties that I put to um, uh, push, uh, put my, my bumper in to make it look tucked. And uh, because the reason is that the guy told me that this like material gets like, it's super flammable. So if I leave it on with this like that, it's gonna catch fire like really quick so um at first i was just gonna cut it but then i figured that the diffusion needs like a little bit of the bumper to um be bolted onto so it can like be held on so uh right now i'm just cutting the zip ties and i'm gonna see i'm gonna see if i'm able to put it back out and if i do then i will need to cut it so that's pretty much right here all right well i was able to cut it off but now the tips since they're like two instead of one it's kind of like not letting it come back down so i'm actually gonna have to end up and cutting it so let's do it right now all right so i just trimmed a little bit of the of the bumper it was mostly like on the inner side of the the bumper and I cut some on the back since it's been folding for too long. It's kind of like 
staying that way but uh and it was touching the the, the muffler so I didn't, I didn't want that to happen so i just trimmed a little bit from the back but yeah i don't know if you can tell it's not the best cuts but they they're doing the clearance so right now let's bump it up oh man can't wait the best way that i found to do this while the bumpers in your car because when i first did it i took the bumper completely off the car and i put them on and stuff but uh I feel the be the best way to do it is to take the brackets off the actual diffuser, put them on the car first, and then put the diffuser on the brackets. But this is working out easier for me because I already have the holes. If you are about to start drilling the holes and everything, I don't know how that's gonna work, but um, if you already have the holes and you take it off and you wanna put it back on, just take the brackets off, put them on the car, and then bolt that into the brackets and that should work. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right, guys, and I'm all done. I don't know what's going on, but for some reason now here I have a gap, and I try to switch out the the bracket like a million ways, and it just wouldn't go. So I don't know. I'm starting to think that the the muffler is was hit or something, and it's all out of whack. Cause when I was putting it on, like the hanger in the back, it was a bitch to to put it. So I don't know. But anyways, I think it looks really badass now. Also, what gave me a problem was that the bumper had to spin uh, The bumper had been tucked for too long, I guess, that now it kind of stayed on that shape. And when I was trying to pull it out to, to, uh, to bolt the, the center bracket right here, I had to like keep pulling it out. So maybe that's also kind of messing with the fitment. But uh, I'm trying to get rid of this bumper. I've been saying that for the longest, but I found one on Craigslist. So I think I'm finally gonna buy it and then get rid of this fucked up bumper. So then I'll, I'll just finally redo it. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.